We are staying at the ranch for 48 hours outside in a hot tent in the winter with no food. About to get squirrely, boys. We're going deep. We are on the top of a mountain right now. I mean, look, look at the view. You can walk around in here, dude. Oh. Got him! We got two squirrels, baby. That's dinner. This is fantastic. What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right, folks. We are staying at the ranch for 48 hours outside in a hot tent in the winter with no food. We've got two ATVs rigged up, dual survival style. We've got a brand new hot tent. We've got some firewood and a ton of pews. And we're going to go out into the woods, into the thickest part of the ranch that we've actually never been to, find a place, set up camp, and then go hunting because we brought no food. Everything we eat for the next 48 hours will be harvested game, wild game here at the ranch. So we're going to fire up the ATVs and head out in the woods. We'll see you guys there. All right, boys. Here we go. On the top of a mountain right now. I mean, look, look at the view. It goes. I, I take that back. I lied. I think we've been up here one time, uh, but we've never done anything up here. Well, I'm thinking we're on the hill, so you guys are probably thinking, Flare One, you're an absolute idiot. You're camping in the winter during. It's snowing right now. I don't know if you can quite see it. And being on the top of a mountain, it's gonna be windy. But we have so many trees here. What about here? We're we're tucked down. North north wind will be protected. Another pretty good little spot right over there by those cedars. Too. Up top a little I like bit. How this is low though. That's this what I, cactus. I know. So this is this is what's crazy at this ranch, is you know, the old Midwest it has cactus apparently if you get high enough in elevation. I think this is our best north wind block from here. This is relatively flat. I mean, look the deer bin. Yeah. The deer been getting after it. So you can tell we're strapped already. Okay, I've got the 17 H Mari. He's got the 6.5. We're not hunting now. We're just getting to obviously the place. Um, but in this series, this multiple part series, you're going to see us chase all sorts of wild game from rabbits to squirrels to deer, you name it. We are going to be chasing all sorts of game, including today. Uh, we're going to try to get, we got to get something for dinner. It's still pretty early in the day. We've got, I don't know, seven, six, seven hours before sun, sunset. So by the time we get everything kind of set up, we can go out about lunchtime or so and, uh, and hopefully find something to harvest. But the squirrels are pretty prevalent in this area. When I, when we were coming up, I did notice quite a few nests and they're eating there's some hedge ball remnants around some of these trees they, that's usually tall tail has squirrel or raccoon oh we're also going to be trapping we've got traps so we can go after raccoons i mean literally all the wild game out there is on the menu and this is what we have we packed it all up we made it all the way out here and uh so we've got a brand new tent a 10 by 10 canvas you guys chirp us in the last one we didn't have the the stove thing that the, the chimney goes through. We got one of those, I think, hopefully. We've got, I mean, tons of gear. I know you guys are thinking this is a little overkill for 48 hours, but the thing about 48 hours is you need the same amount of gear for 48 versus 72 versus whatever the multiple is after that. So we are loaded. I mean, we've got clothes, we've got boots, we've got, we've got more pews than this. We've got a 20 gauge shotgun as well. I mean, Jake's sled is absolutely just packed down with pews, 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 pews. And then we've got our tent. So first rule of survival, Bear Girls taught me, shelter. You so that he told me, text me, DM me, really? tweeted me. Stay tuned. Smoke. 
box. It's all stick and stuff, yeah. This is a bit of an upgrade, yeah. A little bit. All right, I'm ready when you are. Yep. You good? It hasn't locked in or anything. No, same. There it is. Found it. Okay, which one are you in? I'm in none. None? No. Just keep spinning it. I'm in the second from the bottom, and you can see. Yep, the... I'm in the same one. You're good? Yeah. Okay. One hour later, look at this sucker. Now this is some serious, serious hot tent camping. Look at that bad boy. This is the old 10 by 10. I'll give you guys a quick inside tour and then we gotta get everything loaded. Right now the weather's not too bad. Is there a door here? Yeah, it's supposed to be. I think the door's on the other side. Really? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, the door's over here. I, Cause I saw the, I, yeah, we, it don't matter. Either way, we'll just come through the back door. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh yeah, this is the door. Big rip. Big, big face the door to the north, guys. <laughs> I, I tried not to. That's gonna. All right, gonna, it. I tear it down. All right, you guys ready for this? Welcome to the hot tent palace. You can walk around in here, dude. Oh god, this thing is sick. This dude. is crazy. I, I, I understand sick. why they did it white now, cause it brings it's light. light. Yeah. Dude, so smart. Yeah. These guys got it dialed, bro. And we have a floor. We have a floor. These, see, these guys get it. This is. We struggled the first time, okay? Yeah. Now we're yeah, we doing what we're supposed so to be what doing. what are these, windows? Must just be windows. They're just windows. We can deer hunt out of this sucker now. This is like a blind now. Dude, you cut the hole right here? I'll just shoot through the freaking mesh. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, the fact that we put the door on the other wrong side, and that's the only thing that went wrong, I'll yeah. take it. I'll take it. I mean, this is like super... Dude, the floor is I even deep bought deep. a tarp for this, and we don't need it. Yeah. I didn't realize it had a floor. This is crazy. Like, awesome. so much room for activities. We're missing our middle. Piece. Are we missing it? it really? I guess unless you get a bunch of snow, you'd probably be okay. This is awesome. So then you put the uh, the stove here. You're supposed to put something beneath the stove. So we might, maybe we'll use that tarp for that because I don't want to burn this. This is nice tarp. I don't want to ruin this tarp. You're supposed to put like a, you know, a something. I didn't buy that something uh, to go beneath the stove. I never bought it. But welcome dude this is so cool oh man this is awesome all right well she's all strung up like i said that took about an hour so we're gonna get everything loaded in here get the stove in here get the cot set up i want to get everything ready because we have to spend the rest of the day hunting by the time we get out there it'll probably be about lunchtime and then at that point from lunchtime to dark is about four four-ish hours five hours we got to get everything all this stuff all that stuff packed in here loaded up and like I said, then we're going to set off on a hunting adventure and try to take some game down. So we've got something to eat tonight. Stay tuned.
probably don't want to go there with the stove. Oh, yeah. So this wall is free. Uh -huh. Do it like an L in that corner. So do it like that. Put the other one where you are. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Look what we got dangling there, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. That's the old 6.5, the 20 gauge, and the 17 HMR. Deer, squirrel, rabbit, coyote, I guess, but we're not trying to hunt coyotes. Anyways, um, here's a quick room tour. We ended up moving some stuff around. I thought this would be best. Not great for, I guess, you if you're over here. Unless, if the room's hot, we're okay. Yeah. I wasn't really trying to hog the heater, but I was like, we need at least one bed by the heater so we can feed it mm -hmm. easily. But I put my feet down here. So my head didn't catch on fire, which is, so I'm still going to have to get out of bed to feed it, which un we did better the first time we did it where I was able to position myself because the stove was in the middle. I could take this and pivot it where I could feed it, but then that kind of blocks the whole walkway and I thought that was kind of dumb. So it's not that big of a deal. I think if this is like real canvas, like the only air we're getting out is this. I mean, well, we will cut. Well, yeah, we can shut the windows. I mean, this thing should get freaking hot. So. I mean, I don't think it'll be too bad. So um, we got to go get food now. Uh, I'll give you guys like kind of a more full tour of what we brought. But I mean, you know, pots and pans, utensils, coffee cups, matches, lights, extra gloves, binoculars. I mean, normal survival camping stuff. But the priority now is is food. So I think what we're going to do is it's important that we put our traps out tonight because we're going to be here for the next two days. That'll give us the optimal opportunity to catch a raccoon, which we've proven recently. Low key fire. Mm hmm. We don't have the ability to cook it the way we've been cooking it, but we'll figure out something. We brought a little bit of food, not not like heavy calorie food, meaning like actual nutrition, but we brought like salsa, barbecue sauce, butter, oil, flour, like not meal, but it's stuff to basically, I'm not trying to just eat freaking dry, crusty raccoon. It'd, I mean, we'd be cooking everything over the fire. For everything. It gets boring. It gets boring. Yeah. It, we want to we, we make decent meals, but we didn't bring anything like that we could actually eat here like all the protein and all the actual meat like food that has calories we have to go hunt so i just want to tell you guys over like flash faking the survival he's got tortillas right there that's because we're gonna make freaking raccoon tacos at some point okay but i'm not gonna just sit here and eat tortillas to stay alive we're gonna get protein dang it okay so anyways that's the plan so these are the options we're gonna go like i said we're gonna go set traps because what the benefit of traps are is they're hunting when you're not they're hunting at night when you're asleep. So priority number one is go get the traps out. So we are going to go where I think the most raccoons are, which is down in the South Valley. And that's actually where Jake and I, we shot squirrels last year. So I think we'll do a little combo hit where we set some traps and hunt squirrels. And since we have no food right now, we probably should split up ish okay. kind of. To get food, yeah, like dual, like I said, dual, dual survival. Basically, Jake's not going to be just pointing the camera at me and walking around. He also doesn't have food. I apologize. I'm putting, you, I'm putting you through that. It's part part of the deal here. Of the deal. If I'm starving, you're starving. Let's go get some freaking raccoon. All right, motivate everybody here. So uh, he's gonna. What do you What do you want to do? You you big dog squirrel prints. or? Uh, oh, you, oh, you want to do the trapping? I'll do trapping. Okay, so Jake's gonna do the trapping. So if he's trapping, 
I can walk the woods with either the 17 or the shoddy. I feel like I'm probably better with the shoddy, especially if I'm like flushing mm -hmm. them. I guess if you're setting traps and you see one like running, then you maybe could snipe one if yeah. you have the 17. Yeah, so why don't probably. you take the seven? Jake will take the 17. We'll try to use a scope cam if we can. I'll take the 12 or 20 gauge. We'll leave the 6.5 here. Right now, we don't want to go deer hunting because we need to go get the traps set. And if we're making all the ruckus, hammering and stuff, the deer aren't going to be nearby anyways. There's no point. If we're going to deer hunt, we need to come back here and we need to go to the complete other side of the property, which we are going to try to do tonight if we have time. It really just depends how long it is. This tent took like two and a half hours. It took way longer than we thought by the time we got it all set up. So we still have, you know, several hours of daylight, but it's uh, it's getting down to where by the time we get to the location and walk around, it's going to be a little bit tight. So anyways, enough talking. I'm going to take the 20 gauge. She's going to take a 17 HMR and some dog proof traps. And we're going to head to the valley and hopefully catch us some dinner. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, tent. Don't blow over. Let's get to, uh, let's get to hunting here, boys. Yeehaw. Jake's headed out. I'm gonna follow him. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the same spot. Like I said, we're gonna split up. Let's go find us some dinner, boys. That was cold. That was cold. <laughs> that was not fun. <laughs> that was, what was with the mud? That was a lot of that. That was a lot of mud. Yeah. All right. I parked out here so we didn't make too much ruckus in the in the in the juice. All right. You're gonna start trapping. Yep. I'll start. Uh. I'll start going for some squirrelies here. All right. Jake's gonna go start trapping. There's a little creek back here, and uh, he should hopefully be able to see some of the paw prints and stuff. Or, Get some good sign. There's a wind nest right there. But I mean, I could have rocked the 17. I just, I'm definitely more confident with the shoddy. Especially shooting through all this brush. With the shoddy, you can kind of spray and pray. If I'm sitting, I prefer the HMR, like the raccoon stuff. I would rather sit and sit with the 17. But if I'm walking, I prefer the old shotgun. But I think this spot right here in this open is going to be the first spot where we put a dog proof. Dog proofs, catch a raccoon, hopefully. Let me get this guy set. Just have a little trigger on him. Just like that, set. Uh, we're gonna stake him in the ground about right there take our earth anchor push that in uh, step it all the way in the ground take a little bit of food in this milk jug and we're just gonna pour a little bit down in there just until it touches the trigger and then maybe put a couple freebies around there. Take a golf ball right on top. Boom, number one, done. We're gonna do three more down here, I think. And keep an eye out for a squirrel.
Oh, I see one. I see one. Shoot. I see one. Get out of there. Now I wish I had the 17. Shoot. I saw him jump. God dang, they've got good ears. I'm walking with the wind, too. Oh, no. Oh, there's one. There's one. It's right here. I missed. I don't know if I hit him, but he was really far for a shotgun. Oh, I need Jake. I need to get him up here with the 17 real bad. I've seen two. Where in the hell is this thing? You guys can hear that, right? That's him, where is he? There he is, there he is. See you later, dude. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him, boys. He's on this limb. I see his tail. There he is. He's all the way up in the top. All right, he's right up here on this branch. You see his tail right there? I don't know how we're gonna get him to move. But we got one treat. I don't know where Andrew is. I left the bucket of stuff with the raccoon traps because I saw a squirrel running and we got him treed right there. Little sucker. God, I wish Andrew was here with a shotgun. I can't quite get a beat on his head. Might send it. There's his tail. Oh, I can see his face from here. Got him! Smoked him! We got him, boys. We got a squirrel for dinner. Oh, let's go. Let's go, let's go, look at that sucker, yes, we got one baby, big old squirrel for dinner, look at that nuts, sheesh, you get him? I think Jake just got one, oh yeah, for the old headshot on him, oh yeah, yeah let's go baby. I was just trying to clip his head. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I gotta say, what a bunch of freaking killers. <laughs> Me, I just heard Jake yell he got him. No way, dude. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. I got one too. Let's go. We got two squirrels, baby. That's dinner. No way. Oh, God, yeah. Do you have the scope cam in? Oh, yeah. No way. That's epic, bro. You guys got the old scope cam. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Straight harvest, baby. Oh, we're, God, yeah. we're eating good now. Dude, so I saw one. So I, here's, my, here's what I figured out. Hey, I'm, I'm going to say I'm new to squirrel hunting, but I'm, I'm bad at it, and yeah. I know I'm bad at it. I pushed and then stopped. Yes, dude, you walked by. Yeah. You walked by, I was down there setting raccoon traps, yeah. and I'm setting one, and all of a sudden, dude, you goes across the ground. I feel like if you're walking, yeah, it's not just, good. They, just, they, stay, they wait. So I walked and stopped. All of a sudden, I looked way down there, and I saw a branch. Didn't see it, saw a branch. All of a sudden, there you go. Starts going, not this guy. And I'm like, oh, look, I, dude, I need, it. I need the 17, yeah, bro. You can sit here and just snipe. I could just snipe. All of a sudden, I walk one more. All of a sudden, boom. I mean, I was, I don't know if I was here. Probably here to like that fork tree. I mean, see, yeah, far, far, dude. That thing's a sniper. So I shot twice. I knew I hit it, but it was a bit far. So all of a sudden, I'm like looking for him. I didn't think he was dead. Yeah. All of a sudden, here, that's really? it. 
and, and it's like from me to this tree loud and I'm like oh my I sat there for 10 minutes trying to figure out where he was I finally flushed him and he ran up froze popped him right in the face oh god yeah. like it was that was yeah. scary dude dude I, I shot right below him twice hit the tree like I knocked the no way off the tree, and I was like a little bit higher hit oh right my gosh straight how many coon traps you get out um, two two so set the second one and there's a squirrel running so i think we've got a sustainable food source down here I would agree. but this is that's enough for dinner oh, i mean we've point. got 48 hours so i don't want to go crazy but yeah we can come do that, that is wild Shoo, baby one with nuts and one without look at that oh i said look at that sack. <laughs> look at you, you yeah, got a nice sack on yours baby that was 10 minutes dude yeah, we were down like, here. Like, literally minutes. 10 minutes. I think I we were down here. Two raccoon traps done. Two yeah. raccoon traps shot. That's why I said that. I was like, dude, if you're setting traps, that's when it happens. Every time I squirrel hunt, we never get squirrels, but if we're doing anything but squirrel hunting, that's when they come out. I got lucky. I walked, 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 didn't see anything and stopped. And all of a sudden, they start jumping around. I don't know if, like, if you pause, do they start panicking? Like, they don't know. I don't know what the strategy is, but maybe all I know is, like, they're safe, so they try to get, they back get to their maybe nest. Their nest yeah. yeah. But we got two, baby. That's enough for dinner. So we're going to go, uh, let's go finish setting them traps. Yeah. So that way, potentially, we have raccoon for breakfast tomorrow, which would be ideal. And then I'd get back and get these guys cleaned up and skinned up. And uh, if we have time, we could try to go shoot a deer tonight. But I mean, we don't need it. Should yeah. we save the deer then? I feel like we, to make sure we Morning's usually better anyways, I'll be honest. Saying, mornings are pretty fine. I've seen a bunch in the morning, so. That would guarantee we could eat for a while. Yeah. We're good for now. I was going to say, we're good for now, so maybe maybe we'll take these back and get them cleaned up, get the raccoon traps out, get base set up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll chop a bunch of wood and get prepped for like mm -hmm. the rest of the next two days. Tomorrow morning, we can check traps and go deer hunting. If we get a deer tomorrow, then I mean, we're obviously set for food, but I, my, I mean, the goal is to do multi-species. I don't want to just like shoot a deer and then nibble on it for three days. Like that. I mean, that's cool, but like not really all that challenging. Squirrels checked out that off the list. One with the twenty, one with the seven. How was the seventeen? I love that. That was the first time you shot it, Dude, wasn't it? It's great. I like it. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, well, let's go back to setting some traps, and then we'll eat some squirrel. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, I think we found a good spot to set. We got a little, little handprint right there. Yeah, a little paw print. A little paw. We were trying to find um, the creek is dry, as is our lake, um, but. This spot is all muddy. There's been a couple of trails we've been able to set on. So this one is the only one we found a print on. And then you've got, I'll give you guys a quick tip, this trail here. So the difference between deer and raccoon trails is really nothing. It's pretty impossible to tell, except when it goes under a tree. Deer are not belly crawling, I can tell you that much. So that's at least one confirmed raccoon trail. You got another print? A little his oh, little yeah. pads of his yep. fingers right, right there. there. Yeah. So, I mean, and that could be coyote, but the same trails that coyotes do, or that I just realized this is a scrape right here. What yeah. the heck? There is a deer scrape right here. There's another. Oh, that's a deer print. Anyway, so quick tip. You see these trails? There's a million of them through here, but if they go under a branch like that, it's not necessarily just a raccoon, but it's just not a deer, which if it's not a deer, then that means it's a possum, a raccoon, or a coyote, and uh, these traps should catch a possum or a raccoon. Hopefully, we don't have to eat possum. I, I really like don't want to. I really don't want to eat possum. I'll be honest with you. Me either. We'll just come shoot more squirrels. We'll let the possum go. We'll come shoot some more squirrels. Yeah. So we're gonna set this guy in the open. If you guys are new, I mean, this is called a dog proof. You set it, set it down, put a steak in it. We put cat. We have cat food because it smells like fish. I guess I don't know. And so steak it down, put some cat food on there, and then we put a golf ball on it. That way the mice can't jump in there. And if it rains, it doesn't soggy up the the food. So yep, give it a little a little sprinkle of that, and hopefully. We've got a big fat raccoon that we can do like some barbecue raccoon with tomorrow. Well, usually they get trapped overnight. So anyways, our ATVs are, I can see them, they're right through there. So we've kind of walked our whole way, way around, set this guy, we're gonna head back. Maybe we'll go right down by the pond, see if we can find some tracks. Yeah. Set two easy ones right there, mm -hmm. might get like a double where they're going to get some water and stuff like that. And then we'll go back to camp here and get everything cleaned up. So stay tuned. All right, boys, getting back on. <laughs> Good? Yeah. All right. Go ahead back to the lake, set some more raccoon traps. Try to ensure us a nice Ricky barbecue tomorrow. And then we'll go get them squirrels cleaned up. Give us a nice feast.
I don't know, we might get stuck. <laughs> Up's gonna be fun. I might stay up here. Sweet. Yeah, we can winch. All right, I'll go check it out. Yeah, we don't want to get stuck. Oh, it ain't that soft down here. Look for some raccoon tracks. I got one. That's an old one, but I got one. I was thinking there, yeah, this open water. I was hoping they'd come down and drink. There's not that much. It's all right. Let me check over here. I mean, if they're not coming down here, there's no sense in trapping, but. Yeah, this should be littered. It's just not quite. I'm seeing less than I thought. Really? Yeah. Oh, there's some here. Do you see some there? There's a couple right on the edge here. They're just not nearly as like, fresh as you would think. Yeah, let's just pop one here okay. and maybe find a spot on the, like a trail on the way back, like next to camp. So we got another one. I don't know if I can freaking handset this sucker. I can try. Thank you, Boutrade. There's your freebies right there. Be careful put pressing down because it's like I said that one's exposed. That's breaking here. That no, those are those are bad deal there. Step on that, there you go. Alright. Yeah, let's take that one back to close to camp. Okay. We'll find a try. Like on just the road Yeah, just on the we'll spot on the road. It's something easy. Alright. Alright, we're good there. right there but no raccoons Camp is right through here. So we'll put this trap a little closer just to spread them out. But yeah, I'd say it's on the road where they can see it. Well, we'll get that set. Last last trap, that's uh, six, six total. One here, one at the lake, and then uh, four down there. Except camp's right up here. So we'll get up there and uh, hopefully get to cooking. gonna get to cleaning if you guys want to see us clean it you can't watch on youtube you can watch on uncut though if you guys want to check that out so we're gonna clean these squirrels up and then i'm gonna clean the first one on uncut and then i'm gonna go start chopping firewood it's getting cold we probably got another hour and a half or so of daylight but it's so cloudy right now that it's basically like the sun's not out it's dropping i don't know what do you think it is 10 it's 20 cold, probably i said i should check degrees. it's below freezing it's 28 earlier today so. It's, it's below free. Let me, get, let me give you guys a quick temp check it's currently 28 and it feels like 26 it's cold. It's cold. All right. Well, let's get skinning.
All right, so we just got done filming for Uncut. If you don't believe this, go subscribe to Uncut, you'll see. But uh, the it was your squirrel, right? The one you sh the squirrel Jake shot has tapeworms. The entire inside, like his liver is covered in like little maggots, uh, and he smells. <laughs> So, although we did do really well, we harvested. Well, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm only gonna try to eat one squirrel. I don't wanna have any type of diseases form because of this trip. Pretty crazy, if this was like legit survival, like what would you do? Would you eat it and take the risk? I mean, I guess we go shoot more squirrels. Uh, maybe not tonight. It's actually getting dark really fast, which is, it's, I mean, like I said, it's been cloudy all day, but I mean, we still have an hour or so before sunset, actually when it's dark, dark, but it is getting dark and it is getting cold. So I don't I don't think there's any re, I think we'll, Jake and I will survive. I mean, we, we, we'll be okay. We'll eat, we'll eat a squirrel, we'll wake up in the morning hopefully have a raccoon and go get shoot a deer and, and life will be good but it is a bummer because we freaking harvested two squirrels probably could have harvested more if we knew one of them was gonna have that disease i've never seen that before of all you know i've not really seen that many squirrels I've cleaned a handful but anyways again you don't believe us I, you can go subscribe on cut check it out it's pretty gross uh jake's finishing up he's gonna finish cleaning up mine he's getting it all he's getting the glands out getting the fur off and then we're actually gonna fry it so i didn't go over some of the food stuff that we have we brought some like i said we did stop at walmart on the way and get a french press because our percolator you guys commented i get it. it just we didn't have enough water didn't get hot enough whatever I'm going to try a French press, see if I like it better. We've got some Franks. We've got some cooking oil, barbecue sauce, flour, cheese, tortillas, a bunch of duck seasoning. <laughs> we got McDonald's coffee and uh, some salsa and some butter. That's it, though. No actual, like, substance. I mean, unless you want to make a quesadilla, technically we can make a quesadilla. We have, we have tortillas and cheese. We're not going to make quesadillas, though. Chicken wings. There's, no? <laughs> there's your chicken wings there right there. Are. Those are ready. They're ready, they're ready to rock. Those in. Um, I, I can give you a, yeah, let me get you a little sack here. Thanks. There you go. We actually, here, let's get ahead of it. Put the old frame. Are they ready? Like ready, ready? Yeah, these are no good glands, good. no nothing? No, ready no. to rock? Let's, let's get them marinating then. In the, inside the good stuff here. Let's see. Just little, a water bottle full of hot sauce. Little, little hot sauce action. Oh yeah. I wouldn't mind if them sitting there for a minute. Oh yeah. All right. There they are. Okay, I got this fire ripping. I'm freaking, I'm gonna zip this sucker up. That wind is cold. <laughs> yeah. You gotta heat this sucker up, boy. Let's see, I got some starter wood from our last adventure here, but I definitely need to split off some more. Let's see, the grain goes that way, and there's a knot. Sick! What about this? Really? All right, that, well, let's start somewhere else. What about this guy? What's he got to say? Look out. There it is. Really? Now, hey, now we're talking. Holy smokes. We're gonna be burning full logs here tonight, boys. Sick. Really? All right, well, let's, let's at least start building it. For what I got. I'm I'm not the best wood splitter on the planet. I'm sure there's more of a technique to it. I just. I got the hang of it last time we went out. I kind of like, look at the grain. What? I thought. I think. I feel like I am going with the grain. Maybe I'm not. That's definitely not with the grain. Yeah. Oh, rip! I knew that was gonna happen. Got the old tarp. Really? Oh yeah. I saw that one coming. All right. Let's see if I can get that to light. Got some nice squirrel for you. Yeah, I split it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I know, I need to split all the wood outside. It's just a lot warmer here. It is a lot warmer here. You need a block to split it on. Yeah, that would, that would also help, yeah. Let's see if all that splitting and tarp breaking. Son of a brand new. Right. Here we go, boys. Look out. It's a little bit of sparkler, like 4th of July sparkler. I mean, at least the wood looks flammable. It does look flammable. Come on, you got it. No, don't go out. 
Dang, that one, whatever that one branch was, was getting it. Really, you're telling me you need more sauce than that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Big Sheila. Give it to me. We're just getting smoked out in here is all that's really yeah, happening. There we are. No, Dave. <coughs> oh, you coughed and it lit. <laughs> Y'all, thank God. I need to open a freaking... We need to open the door here. That's burning down. It's still like putting another match and there's new anything. Everything's like it's like it's literally wet. Like that's what it's acting like. It doesn't make any sense. But I'm not gonna be done with that. Yeah, I think I might be that's on to something here. How like how does this not catch? There's paper and that's not that didn't even catch. We have wet paper? <laughs> I mean seriously. How does that even make sense? Alright. New new evaluation, new strat. Nice grass. I mean, it's still smoking, but nothing will catch. I mean, this thing is packed full of freaking wood. Shove some grass in there. Okay, grass lit nice. No. Whoa! Oh. Fire breathing dragon out here, son. Really? All right. Now we got to wait for it to get hot so we can start cooking. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is so breathe. bad. At least we got fire. Bam. Alrighty, folks. Oh, yeah, broke the table again. We got this sucker ripping. It's still smoky in here. We've got a light on now. It's actually, dude, it blow your mind how long it takes to do things, okay? We spent like 40 minutes splitting wood. Uh, then we had to get this thing freaking ripping hot. And now it's just billowing smoke. So I think our wood was wet. So then we changed wood and it's still smoky in here. And so we had to vent it all out there. And then the squirrel's clean. We only have one squirrel now because one of ours had parasites. Tapeworm. Tapeworm. Been a hell of a day, boys. But we are going to get to cooking. So I'm going to show you guys the rig here. This is what we had in the first hot tent video. If you guys are not new here, you know what this is. If you're new here, I'll show you. This thing's freaking sick. But we're going to try frying with it. So this has everything you need, believe it or not, to cook. I think it has a set of four of everything. Four plates, four bowls. I mean, it's like a full-blown, this whole thing right here. Bam. It's a pot within a pot within a pot. And then within a teapot filled with uh, utensils and then we've got cups and there's some plates and we did get a new silverware set this sucker is freaking this is nice we're like bougie hot tent camping now because now we've got a full-blown arsenal I mean you got scissors and spatulas and skewers and can openers and knives and cutting boards and everything ready to go in one pack so we are going to fry this squirrel. So it's in the hot sauce. And we've got flour right here. We've got a mason jar of oil. We have two of these in case we want to do a little deep frying. And then we've got buffalo, wild game, smoked barbecue, and all meat ducks seasoning. Let's figure out what, probably this guy, and just try to get her up a little bit and give her the old. And yeah, maybe put like an inch and a half of oil in there. You want to try to, let's see, is this a, this is this is more of a that skillet. Like a shallow do you want to do a shallow or do do a deep fry? I'm a deep fry guy. Personally. I'm personally a deep fry guy too. I oh. feel like it's kind of custom to squirrel to do the shallow. To do the shallow, should we break some rules? I think we should break some rules. Okay. And deep fry that sucker. So we probably want the the smallest, like meaning skinniest, because it would yeah. be the deepest oil. Yeah. So let's see how far this gets us. Yeah, I think the thing about shallow is you have to touch the meat. Yeah. And when I touch the meat, breading falls off. Yep. You deep fry it, you pull it out. Hey, that sucker's ready to rock. So I'm a, I'm personally more of a fan of deep fry. I tend to mess it up less personally. So go ahead and take this, dump some oil. Probably, probably have to go for the old two, the two tap. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on. 
All right, I got this guy going in. Oh, yeah, that'll be nice. It won't even be like a deep, deep fry. Make a medium. Medium fry. Medium fry. Yeah, medium fry from McDonald's. Sounds that really sounds right so now. good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> the fact that we have one freaking squirrel now. I'm so bummed that one of our squirrels Gosh, are dang it, dude. It's all right. It's, it's going to motivate us to freaking harvest something good tomorrow. So yeah. let's get this oil hot and get to cooking. Stay tuned. All right, boys. We got hot oil. How you can test it, you either take water. Water will pop. Or you take a little bit pinch of flour. Check this out. Yeah, you hear that? A little tss. That's when you know it's the good stuff. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just mix everything in the Ziploc to make everything easy. The least amount of dishes we can have, especially this early into our, our challenge here, the better. Because I don't really want to be washing dishes. So we're going to go ahead and dump some flour in there. Are you thinking buffalo? Sure. I mean, we already got the hot sauce going. We so we're going to go... Actually, we'll throw a little all meat in there too, just for fun. And the salt. So we got... We don't have too much all meat. I better be careful with it. Oh, God. Maybe I'll dust it. We okay. should yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, dust yeah, yeah. it. Well, we didn't bring... I messed up. That's my bad. Because we might need it for future catch cooks. So I'll just... I'll dust it. But we did bring a brand new buffalo. So we can go hard with at least the base. Duck's buffalo into the flour. Since this is going to be buffalo flavored, you don't have to really be shy. We can go maybe about a third of this whole thing. Go ahead and shut it and mix it. Like that. Whew. Oh, baby. You're getting a whip over Sheesh. here. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's going to be good. All right, we got that. Our meat has been soaking out for about an hour and a half since how long it took us to get all the shenanigans ready. Um, which is good. It'll be a little bit more flavorful. So there's a back quarter going in. Bam. We got the other back quarter. Bam. Well, that actually, the first one was the front quarter. This is a big chunky. That's the back. Zip it up. Like that. Give a little bit of air. Then. Straight from the bag, boys. Oh, yeah. I said she was hot. She was hot, buddy. She went messing around. So since this is our only meal, I want to be careful and not ruin it. So I'll start with just those two. Frying batches. In, ca in case this oil is too hot, then we can turn it down and do the rest of it. You know what we didn't bring on this whole entire trip? Hmm. Paper towels. Yeah. I'm looking at my hand going... What do I do about this? We brought water so I can rinse it, but I didn't bring a single towel. Big rip. Shee Kentucky Fried Squirrel there, boys. Look at the golden crispies. Holy smokes, does that look good? That's fried up really That's good. why I like that deep fry, dude. It's, I mean, that just looks good. That is straight up. Straight up. Kentucky Fried Chicken. And that oil is definitely hot. So go ahead and throw the rest in. Wow, bam! I don't. I didn't mess that one up. That only took maybe like three minutes. That's a big dog. I'll lay that in there, and I'm gonna throw. I'll throw the ribs in. The ribs won't take long. Those will be. They'll be like a fish fillet, a little flash fry action. Toss him in there. Bingo. Bam! All right, we're gonna get these guys fried up. Let them cool off. Stick this meat in our mouth. Stay tuned. Look at them drummies. Don't forget, finish it off with a little all meat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We cooked these guys, I'll be honest. I'm gonna just, just I'm just gonna say it now. I'm gonna say it now. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough meat. I intentionally overcooked it because of his, their friend with the parasites. Okay, that's, I'm just being, I don't want what he had. Let's spread that way. So it's probably gonna be a little bit tough. Oh yeah, it's still warm. Here we go. <clears throat> wow. Buffalo. Yeah, <laughs> she's in there, son. Really? That's so good. Mmm. Doom. Fire. I've had fried squirrel a couple times. Never. It's never really that good to me. I'm like, man, mm -hmm. eh. it might be because we haven't had a meal yet today. <laughs> but yeah. dude, this is. It's. It is tough, but. Mmm. Tastes like dark meat chicken, dude. It's yeah. not. It's not that chewy either. It's way better than I thought. 
That flavor is incredible. It's so good, dude. This is fantastic. I've never had good fried squirrel. Never. Like, it is just steamy. It's not, it's really not that tough. I think we did a really good job on cooking this one. I didn't tell him hungry or no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you better eat. It. People are going to be like, oh, Jake has to wait to eat because he has to film for that. He's over there starving. Have you had a lot of fried squirrel in your life or not, right? No, not a lot. I've had it. I've had it a couple times. Lot. It's never that great. Uh-uh. What do you mean by that? That buffalo. It's good. That buffalo. It's so there. good, dude. Like, that's, and like, it's really, it's not tough. Mm -mm. I don't know if we're starving. Yeah, I don't, it's good, though. We just made the best fried squirrel ever. Dude, it's so good, though. Like, it's so good. But this goes hard. Like, really this good. so, a little, little hair in there. That's, hey, you don't yeah, need you that. hurt nobody. I know, I've had fried squirrel and it tastes nasty, too, and mm -hmm. that doesn't, it doesn't have that taste. Take those glands out. Mm -mm. Dude, this is fire. It's up there, dude. It's up there. This is, this is up there, boys. Like, for real. Like, Mmm. I mean, I'm gonna p clean this bone. Especially because we only have one. It's just, like... I mean, the fact that we're starving makes it taste better, but I'd say it's like an eight and a half, probably. Yeah. Like, I don't know yeah. if I've had... I've never had better fried squirrel than that. It tastes like some pretty dang good dark meat chicken that's fried up to perfection, by the way. Yeah, yeah. peel them ribs, ribs out or see what they got going on. That's, that, that side might be a little hot still. Is that the deal? That was like a potato chip. No you way. No. Okay. All right. I gotta give. I'm gonna give this a try here. This is the old the old ribs. Mm -hmm. Woo. Dude. That's, the old that's even better. There. That's even better. That's crazy. Just a little thin chunk of meat. Mm -hmm. A lot of crispy on there. Yeah, a lot of crispy. Wow. Yeah, it's a probably eight, eight and a half out of ten. But the best fried squirrel I've ever had. Me too. By a mile. Not to be honest, we might have to go find some more squirrels. I was gonna say, especially since we only got a little appetizer since since we couldn't get two oh, in man, our bellies. Two, we'd be feasting right now. Wow, this is this is phenomenal, dude. Mm. Yeah, we can't get a deer tomorrow, and we don't get a raccoon. We just gotta go sit in the woods down there mm -hmm. with, with the 17 HMR and start sniping them. Because yeah. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. Man, this is good. Well, we're gonna finish eating all this. The fire's hot though. I'm more, like I'm warm. Mm -hmm. like, there's no, no part of me that's even slightly mm -hmm. remotely cold right now. My feet are a little cold. I think they got sweaty walking around. But I did bring some thermal insulated socks, and they're like. Big fuzzy. Oh. So I'm thinking, because my feet are, I my I just got sweaty feet. I don't, maybe it's just a me thing. But take them off, because if you sleep with cold socks, you're dead for sure. You lose most of your heat through your feet and your head. So then I said, beanie. So I've got the beanie to put on my head so I don't lose the heat through there. And then these guys, I can either just slip straight over or I can put on a new pair of socks on. I mean, this is all clothes. I mean, I've got extra hoodies, socks, extra gloves. I mean... I didn't know what we would be running into in here. I also have, oh, these are some, these are fleece lined camo pants that are really soft. Mm -hmm. Thought about sleeping those as like my pajamas, um, but also can get up really quick and shoot something if I need to. We brought some extra warm stuff. So I'm going to finish eating this and hang out for a little bit. And then, yeah, probably going to get naked and put on some nice warm clothes. So I'm going to probably clear all this out, shove all this in the corner. So that way I can easily roll out of bed and just, I mean, we're going to, Fill that sucker filled with wood and then shut all the baffles and just let it just smolder there. And hopefully it's warm enough to keep us through, warm through the night. So anyways, yeah, stay tuned. I don't know if you guys see it. It's freaking cold out there. I'm gonna shut this real fast. I don't know if you guys saw any of that, but it's what's that? He's letting her heat out. Yeah, I'm letting all the heat out. How's the how are those socks? Which things? Those are the, the pants too. Dude, holding that stay heat in, in. staying nice oh, and freaking God, yeah. cozy. These are, nice. these are pretty warm. I've got the old these are fleece lined camo. They're super soft, so they're like basically pajamas. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna let me jump in this thing. I'm gonna see if it's warm enough without a vest. I mm. mean, I've got bibs. I have a coat. I've got everything. Mm -hmm. You can't see your breath in here. No. It's better not there. Yeah. It'd be warmer if...
the stove was here. Yeah, between us. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that. why didn't they put the stove in the peak? I, I don't. Like, this is. I mean, I get it. It's kind of like out of the way. It's also not though. But no, it's not. Yeah, I mean, if I get really cold, you're screwed probably. Yeah, I'll probably should have. I say you, but I say I could always put my head right here. Mm -hmm. I was just worried about like a hat can catch on fire or something. Really? I don't know. But I mean, this is also a, this is a zero degree bag, and it's yeah, like we... 55, 60 in here. Mm -hmm. It's not that cold. Like, I bet it'd be. Wish I had like a thermostat on your phone. You could see. My guess would be probably 50. 50. Feels like a good 50 right now. Yeah. Oh, somebody chirped me for breathing. In the bag. Is it mo die. Moisture and you'll die. Yeah. I was like, rip. Luckily, luckily, I'm not a surviving outside. Oh, God. Oh, dude, these are freaking cozy. <laughs> I mean, your toes ain't gonna be cold. No. They're right next to the fire. Hell yeah. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to kind of see, I guess. Right now, I'm definitely warm. It's a little different once you kind of fall asleep. The, the, you know the biggest pain right now? Getting out for this thing. Dude, I have to freaking... I can do one of these, maybe. We should... We're idiots. We should have just turned it. Because then, then I could have just loaded it like that. I don't know if you'd have room for your cop, though. I feel like you'd be touching your cop. I think I'd be... Would I be dead? I just reach over. Make room, Junior. Man. Pretty annoying. Yeah. But then you just. It ain't that bad. Yeah. That's not horrible. 9.30. Is that 39? 9.39? I, you go to bed about 10? Yeah. It's the time I go to bed. Well, we get up early today. We also, we also get. Oh, we also. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me look at sunrise, sunset. So we were discussing <clears throat> basically while we were doing nothing after dinner. Trying to figure out the plan tomorrow. So I think the plan tomorrow is going to be to deer hunt first thing and then check our traps after, maybe like by 8 or 9. We don't want to wait and check our traps and then go deer hunting in case, well, in case the deer get up early. So sunrise is 7.45, means you can shoot at 6, 7.15. Probably need to be there by 7, which means we need to leave camp by maybe 6.50. Mm-hmm. So, coffee, you think 30 minutes? Yeah, that'd be plenty, I think. 30 minutes, make, so let's get up at 6.15 then. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll set an alarm, 6.15. 6.15, that's that's still, what, eight, and a, eight hours and 15 minutes or so? Yeah. Full night's rest. That's what's nice about, well, sleeping at the ranch in general whenever you're hunting, but, you know, sleeping uh, sleep before you go hunting, you don't have to get up that early. Normally when you go deer hunting, super early. But I just say 6.15. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is, boys. 6.15, we are, uh, we're set, we're gonna kill the light, I'm gonna shove as many freaking logs as I can get in that sucker, and, uh, like I said, I'll probably turn those baffles down, let it just smolder, hopefully it stays nice and warm, so, we'll see you guys in the morning. How'd you sleep over there? Not good at all, I had to get up every two hours. Look out. Well, I'll put hair on your chest there, son. Awesome bite proof, you think? Slice of meat super thin. Sear it kind of like, like a like thin steak fajita meat. This is looking low-key fire. Alright, here we go. Woo! 